Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. It is College Football Saturday. We got a free play coming up in College Football in just one moment. First, a quick note, if you have yet to become a member over at DocSports.com, uh, all you gotta do to give it a trial run, click on the link below the video, get set up for a free $60 account. Use those free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages or anybody else over at DocSports.com. Great way to give it a trial run and a great day to do it because we got college football and NFL this week. And again, $60 free account. All you got to do to get started, click on the link below the video. All right, college football free pick coming up in just a moment for Saturday evening. And we'll get to that. But first, a quick note, cutting this one a little bit early, this video, uh, so we can get it out there for you to watch for Saturday. And uh, as of right now, our games have yet to go final. They're just underway for Saturday, excuse me, for Friday night's action. So we'll update those games on Sunday's report. But a couple of quick notes. My football is available right now at DocSports.com. I've yet to have a game go off so far this week. All of our college football games are on Saturday, five, including our seven unit play, which is an afternoon game. I've got four plays in Sunday's NFL led by a six unit play. So nine plays in all Saturday and Sunday. I didn't play anything before Saturday. I'm not playing the Monday games. It's as simple as that. If you go to DocSports.com, if you jump on board with my football package, you will get five college football games Saturday, four for Sunday, seven unit Saturday, six unit Sunday, 40 and 23 is our current run with our top end plays, by the way, college and pro football combined. And also, uh, as you know, we were number one college and pro football combined last year at DocSports.com. And uh, we're on a 63% run in the NFL, 60 and 35 with a couple of pushes, our last 97, 59% long-term run in college football. And we look to have a big winning weekend in college and pro football. Don't miss out. Again, the plays are available right now. If you've yet to get them, you can go grab them as we speak at DocSports.com. A couple of notes, we're nine and one as we headed into Friday night's card in the month of September up about $2,600 for those wagering $100 per unit. We'll update that with Sunday's video also. And uh, listen, WNBA ends on Sunday. And I don't know if we're going to be in action yet, but uh, no games on Saturday, by the way. But be sure to go grab uh, that WNBA playoff package because uh, we've been red hot. First summer that we decided to handicap WNBA, to bet WNBA, we are on a 40-19-2 and two run uh, going into Friday night's game. All right, let's get to a couple of notes from Saturday's college football card. I wanted to update the big games for you as far as where the betting action is on Friday early evening. And what we got, Texas A&M at Clemson. Clemson down to 17. They've been as high as 18 and a half in some shops. 70% of both the tickets and the money are on the underdog Aggies as we speak. 70%. Kellen Mond, as you know, a very fine quarterback for A&M. He's got a top-notch wide receiving core that could give this Texas A&M secondary some fits. Remember last year's game came down to a 28-26 real tight affair with Clemson getting the win. Uh, but right now, again, they think the underdog is going to cover 70% of both the tickets and the money on the underdog Aggies. I don't have a play in that game. LSU at Texas, uh, LSU laying six and a half just about everywhere. I saw one book uh, already go up to seven, and I do believe a lot of books will be at seven sometime during the day on Saturday. If you want the underdog, be sure to wait until Saturday because you might be able to get seven. I don't like the underdog here. When I look at this game, uh, listen, I just think that it's a situation where Texas lost too much from last year. I've talked about this for a couple of months. They were an underplay for us, under nine wins, and I'm sticking to it. Now, I know the public is you know, on Texas to the tune of about 55%, but the money overall has moved that line up. Still like LSU as far as I'm concerned. I think they get the win here over Texas. I do believe Texas has four losses on the slate this season, eight wins on the slate. This will be one of the losses against LSU is what I'm predicting. And uh, again, if you like the dog, I think you're gonna be able to grab seven on Saturday. If you like LSU, might as well get, go get them now and lay the six and a half. We are certainly leaning towards Louisiana State in this game. All right, uh, that's the update on both of the marquee matchups in college football as far as betting is concerned. And again, before I get to the free pick, don't forget about what's going on for me at DocSports.com. Nine and one in September as we speak. We've got five college football, four NFL. All five college football go on Saturday, led by the seven unit play, which is an afternoon game. All four plays in the NFL go on Sunday. We've got a six unit there. We look to continue what we did last year when we went 
number one, college football and NFL combined. Let's rack it up. Let's do it again. All right, now we're going to get into our free pick for Saturday. It's an evening game. Washington hosting Cal in a Pac-12 clash. Washington laying 13 and a half points in this one. Now, if you've been watching my videos this summer, then you know from at least six weeks ago on a future play that I gave out that I'm not big on California this year. In fact, I recommended playing under the wins total uh, with the California Golden Bears. Defense, you know, they're going to have good games from now on then, but the offense is not good. I don't think they can keep up with this Washington Huskies team. I had mentioned in the video I did when I took California under the wins total a while back that I thought they might even have some trouble with UC Davis. And guess what they did? They struggled with UC Davis for a good chunk of last week's opener. And uh, again, I think they're going to go up against an excellent passing game. I like Jacob Eason, the quarterback for Washington, one of the best that Chris Peterson has probably ever coached and I think they're just going to be too powerful on the offensive side of the football for California to be able to keep up so our recommendation for Saturday night Washington minus the points over California again the free pick on the Washington Huskies it's going to do it for me for Saturday don't forget my UFC picks will be available on Saturday morning by 5 a.m. Eastern 2 a.m. Pacific NASCAR picks will be available Sunday morning no later than 5 a.m. Eastern 2 a.m. Pacific looks like we're going to have a seven unit play in NASCAR how we're on a 14 and three run so don't miss out on that also click on the uh, thumbs up key if you like these videos be sure to subscribe we do appreciate those who have done so thus far i'm scott spritzer docsports.com let's put saturday in the win column right back here sunday morning